Hey, I'm the Chronosider, and welcome to a bit of a trailer analysis on the newly announced Monster Hunter World. This is a console release of Monster Hunter, as a lot of you may know. And uh, it's kind of sparked a bit of a controversy. Uh, before we continue, I'm going to just confirm something with you guys. This is officially a main series game. So... I'm going to just go over and give you a few points to analyze, and we'll be quick. So the first the first thing I really noticed is, you know, how the environment looks kind of uh, nice and all that. Very graphically appealing, let's be honest there. It, it's exciting that we're actually going to get something that looks nice, but there might be a bit much involved in the screen. We can see a lot of verticality in these sort of maps. I'm assuming you can climb up around these areas, as shown in the later parts of the trailer. So, you know, right here with the flying... Actually, no, let's... We'll, we'll go back to that. There seems to be quite a lot of uh, possible movement, which is great for an open-world game. Let's be honest. And I think it could lend very itself very well, but if there's too much movement in the actual hunting, it's going to kind of change the whole meta, and I'm not going to be too pleased about it. Okay. Uh. So, anyway, uh, another mechanic that I uh, was looking at here is the little stealth, uh, the stealth sort of mechanic here. A lot of a few people I've talked to are suggesting that the that the small monsters here are posing more of a threat to the hunter than normal, but I kind of think it's just a showcase of a new sort of stealth mechanic. What the stealth mechanic will bring, who knows? But I, I've got a bit of an idea that this will bring in a kind of, you know, more of a stealthy sort of sneak attack gameplay. So you know you can hide from a monster, sneak up, and do like. Uh, do an attack that will do an extra bit of extra damage and sort of thing, or manage to uh, hit like a critical point to get a mount or something like that, as seen a little bit further on. It, but it doesn't look too uh, uh, too like what is it called? Uh, too troublesome uh, about this mechanic. And it could, in fact, lend itself very well to the sort of gameplay of Monster Hunter. So, I've had a few friends uh, go on about uh, the gameplay looking a lot faster. And, uh, you know, uh, okay, I don't have the to uh, like sort of attack in this trailer, it seems. So, yeah, this is the sort of part that was kind of annoying for us. There's a lot of movement away from the monster. It, it, I don't, I hope it doesn't try and make Monster Hunter get involved with more acrobatic movement over it, um, doing a lot more of the, uh, careful planning of attacks and learning the, like, what is it, the patterns and movement of the monster. That is a bit troublesome, on, in my opinion, but we'll have to see with some proper gameplay what that's happening. I believe it's just showcasing what the monster can do in the environment here. Anyway, uh, if we go on to the actual attacks, I think I can show you that it does look a lot like it's going to be the sort of normal gameplay of a Monster Hunter game. So here we got like the jump off the wall with the sort of like, uh, what is it, greatsword air charge? I think, in my opinion, that looked a lot more like the, uh, what is it, the aerial charge in Monster Hunter Generations. And, uh, I mean, I never really use Aerial Greatsword, but that did remind me heavily of uh, Aerial Greatsword. The extra bit of a float does worry me a little bit, as it could be trying to be a bit more friendly with uh, newer players. So the thing, and might give you a lot of leeway on what sort of attacks you can do, but again, that's going to have to wait for proper gameplay. So, as you can see there, that was the uh, upswing from the combo greatsword uh, sort of style. You know, how you got your slam, hit, swing, all that sort of stuff. 
And this is suggesting that we actually might just have the core moveset from the game without really any changes. It could be very much a normal Monster Hunter game with all these uh, possible attack patterns. So this could be very exciting. So uh, we're going to continue going on a bit more. It seems that that was a normal uh, sort of roll animation. So again, very much, uh, very likely that this is just a, just a Monster Hunter game that is open world and in HD. Yeah, so that's our normal sort of role. It looks actually a bit slower and a bit shorter. You know, not as much movement. I don't know. Really compare. And now we've got our Wrath loss here. Actually, this is one of the things that very much excites me about the possibility of, it, of what this game can show. This is... Oh. <laughs> okay, pretty much... I've longed for direct contact, you know, like direct interactions between monsters. So if a Rathalos shows up and it decides to take on the bigger monster, the bigger prey first, before going for you, ah, oh, I love that. Oh, I'm I'm not even joking right here. Oh, oh okay. that very much excites me. It might be very annoying if you do uh, whittle down the monster's health and are about to, like, kill it to carve it. It could very much hurt like that, like the RNG element. But I'm pretty sure that the, like, the, the sheer possibility of monsters just coming in, taking out the bigger monster for you, and... Oh, there's interactions. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and now that's... And that's another thing I like. So, you may have known that Dauntless has been announced recently. And it's got the sort of, what is it, the open world sort of element too. And, oh, the flares to signal where you and the monster are is what truly, truly excites me. And well, we're just going to get to the next exciting point. So, all open world games have the probability, uh, have the po problem of movement. And frickin' hell, we get to ride on what on like these mini wyverns. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I do love this. I love how this looks. I do wonder how much control we'll actually have over these wyverns if it is just flying over a set uh, path, or we can actually decide where we take them, bar some sort of areas specific areas but this could be the uh, this could be like the saving grace as we know like when you cart to a monster in one of the bigger areas it can take a long time to rejoin the hunt and so these wyverns might speed up that a bit and give us like a give us the shortest possible route between us and the monsters at all at all times and it really that really excites me that. So the, the sort of environmental uh, environmental characteristics here look exciting, and uh, this part here, as we can see, they're on the wyvern once again. But what is it called? The actual movement of the wy of the wyvern here is what uh, what interests me quite a bit. It kind of it suggests that there is quite a large level of control over what you can do, as it kind of is going between a certain, uh, like some specific places that don't really pop, actually, I'm not too sure. We're going to have to wait for some proper gameplay before we can actually go into what these new mechanics are. Okay, this is something that excites me, the sort of terrain deformation sort of thing. I am very much excited about monsters changing to the terrain that affects the hunt. I hope to see what happens here. It looks really cool. Oh, and that's another thing. Proper eating animations. Oh my god, have we always, haven't we always wondered what a, Lu a royal Ludroff does to eat monsters? Ah, oh, that's good. I'm pretty sure that's an Aptonoff. Okay, the flash bomb animation is about the same, but the sound effects actually do sound pretty cool. You, and it's once again using like the arm sort of crossbow thing, if uh, that you may have seen. 
Which is quite interest, uh, interesting, again, so that the crossbow arm may not actually have any other uses other than just deploying the, like, tranks, paintballs, that sort of stuff. So, you know, could be interesting. Uh, and yeah, that's another thing that kind of shows that we might actually just be dealing with the, a main series game reimagined, really. You know, because th this is the block, the standard block of a great sword. There's no denying that. Once again, and there's that crouching animation. Yeah, that is very much just like this is standard Monster Hunter mechanics right here. Now, okay, this is this is the part I was talking about, the paddle sort of the mounting animation. This could very much just be a like the sort of normal um, mounting, just instead of having like the small mounting knife, we've got. We're just using our weapon instead. I mean, it makes a lot more sense, to be honest. I do not like the idea of the small knife being used, but then again, we did use it. Uh, it was used back here. Where is it? To carve some, to get some, gather the honey looking substance. Uh, yeah, so it's interesting what's going on here. Once again, it looks very promising. Apart from that. Fuck that bowgun. I hate it. Why is it firing so rapidly? Unless hunting arts have come back and we've got our rapid fire here. That's the only thing that would make this acceptable. Okay? If it's a rapid fire super skill for light bowgun. Apart from that, it's dead to me. It looks promising as all fuck me. Okay? I'm very much excited about this. And as we can see, the cooking of meat. But there's no song. How dare they? Well, thank you for watching the little bit of a speculation and analysis of what's actually going on in the trailer. Um, I can't tell for certain what is actually going to make it into the real game, as we've only really gotten uh, this little bit of gameplay to go off. It looks exciting. It looks it looks promising. Is it going to be good? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching.